How to get great images out of a DSLR? Well, that is not a secret anymore, but there are still a lot of people struggling with audio. In this video, I will be talking about how you can actually capture some good audio and which microphones you should use for which purpose. Getting great audio always means you need to know your location. That's the number one rule. For example, now I'm in a park right here. It's actually pretty quiet. You have some goose right there, a tree right here, so you might hear some wind going through the leaves, but there's pretty much nothing else. So it's really quiet right here. But for example, when you shoot in the middle of the city, it might be really loud. So you always have to think about where you're shooting, what kind of location is it, what kind of ambient sound, surround sound do you have, and then you can actually choose the microphone. Before you hit the record button, you need to choose a microphone, of course. I am now recording with this small device. It's actually a little lavalier microphone. And I'm recording the whole audio with this external recorder. And it actually gives me a much better quality of audio because I don't have any hiss, any noise. And with DSLRs, you might know that you actually have some, always some ground level noise. It's really hard to get out. So that's a big problem. And to show you the difference between this recorder and the DSLR, I'm now switching the channels. And as you can see, uh, as you can hear now, there's a plane. So this directional microphone, which is up on the DSLR right now, might pick up a lot of background noise. And this little lavalier microphone might only pick up a little bit of the airplane sound, but more like what I'm saying. Using a stereo mic can be really great because you can capture all the ambient sound. It's almost like a camera pan where you actually show the location because you have two channels left and right and you can really capture a great atmosphere. But if you don't want to actually show the atmosphere because you only want to hear the person's voice, for example, if you shoot an interview, it kind of makes sense to only capture the person's voice. For that reason, there are directional microphones. You can get some really great audio with them. This one isn't actually so cheap, but it really does a great job at only capturing the stuff you're pointing it at. For example, if I point it to the right, you will not hear me right now. You will probably hear some boats, the riverside. And if I'm now pointing it at me, you can hear me very clearly. I am now speaking into the directional microphone and it's actually plugged into the DSLR. The DSLR is set to automatic mode. That means all the audio levels are adjusted automatically. The problem with that mode is that, of course, it always tries to focus on the right person speaking or whatever kind of volume it picks up. So, for example, um, if I hold it into another direction, it will adjust to the background noise, for example, like now. And if I'm talking now, the background noise will actually get quieter and you will hear me in a normal tone again. Recording audio in automatic mode is not really an option for me because I actually want to control my audio. I want to know what kind of stuff I'm picking up and I don't want to have like problems that actually the background noise is louder than my voice, for example. So I decided now to switch to manual mode. The downside on the other hand with manual mode is that of course you have really low levels because if I'm talking like this really close to the mic, um, I want to be sure that it's actually not too loud. And the problem is when editing, I don't see any waveforms because it was recorded so low. Then I have to render a file, for example, just um, pitch the audio higher, like tw plus 12 dB. And then I can, of course, see my waveforms. But then I will also have some serious background noise. I am now in a studio to show you the difference between recording with a DSLR and with an external audio recorder. I'm speaking into two directional microphones. One is plugged in into the DSLR and the other one is plugged into the external recorder. And as you can hear, the sound that is actually captured with a DSLR is good, but you have some kind of constant background noise. The sound that is actually captured with the external recorder is pretty clear without any noise. I'm on a bridge now. Under the bridge is a highway, as you can tell, it's really loud. So when recording with a stereo microphone like this one, which picks all the surround sound up, or with one directional microphone that is actually used on the camera, the problem is actually 
that you hear a lot of surround sound and probably not even really my voice. So that's another benefit of actually using a lavalier microphone. It's really close to my mouth, so it will actually capture everything I'm saying. And another benefit is that actually I can turn around, for example, in this direction and you still hear my voice because the microphone is attached to my shirt. But when I move around like this and we use this microphone, it's really hard to understand me because it only picks up this direction. It gets even worse when I use a microphone like this one. This is designed to capture some great ambient sound. It's a stereo mic and the problem is that when I'm recording here and I would talk in front of the camera, it would pick up all the cars passing by, but you wouldn't probably really hear me. In the end, you have to make a compromise. Recording into the camera always means a loss in audio quality, but a faster and easier way of actually capturing something. If you are shooting news and documentary work that needs to be delivered quickly, recording internally is an option. When working with an external recorder, you have a lot more options on how to record audio and which kind of microphone you want to use, but it also means more work in the edit because the audio has to be synced with a video track. Getting the film look with DSLRs is a great way of producing a professional looking image, but never forget. Audio is as important as the visuals, if not even more important.